hello guys you can see that there is a bench and now i am going to show you how to make this bench in solidworks so let's begin just click here click part and just take a new window and from here go to sketch and from sketch select right plane and click on sketch okay now select line and from origin draw line draw one next the vertical one continue making lines in this way okay okay now select this line press some control now select the, this line the right one and make them equal okay again select this line press on control and select the other one and make them equal okay now again select this one press on control also select this one and make them equal okay now go to smart dimension and give this length is 350 millimeter the horizontal one will be 400 millimeter okay now the smaller one will be just 25 millimeter and the distance between these two lines will be also 25 millimeters. Okay. Now, now select line. And from this corner point, draw line. Okay. Now go to smart dimensions. And the angle. Between, between these two lines will be 100 degree okay now select this line again and click on offset entities and it will be 25 millimeter offset okay now first go back control z now again click uh, just select this one and click on offset and this in this side 25 okay okay now position is okay now go to smart dimensions and it will be 400 millimeter okay now again select line Join between them. Okay, now we need to trim this part. So select trim. Trim this part. Okay. Now select rectangle and okay draw rectangle the smart dimensions and it will be 25 millimeter and the, the distance from this line to this yellow line will be 100 millimeter. Okay, now again uh, go to trim entities. Now trim this part, also this part. Okay, now go to features and click on extruded boss of this and it will be also 25 millimeter. Okay. 
now click here and click on sketch and now click on space bar and go to normal tool now select midpoint line make a rectangle okay now go to smart dimensions and make this dimension 25 millimeter okay now again come here and the rectangle draw a rectangle here okay now go to smart dimensions now select this tool uh, the distance will be actually 25 millimeter. And also this one will be 25 millimeter. Now go to features, extruded boss or base, and it will be 1500 millimeter. Okay. Now click here. Put a reference geometry select plane. And it will be 750 millimeter. New plane. Now click on mirror entities. Now our plane is selected. Selected here. Now select features. Now select this feature, so it is mirrored here. Okay. Now hide the plane. Now select here and go to sketch. Now click on normal tool, space bar and normal tool. Now select rectangle Draw rectangle Ok, I go to smart dimension And This distance will be 20 millimeter And also the distance from this line this bar will be 50 millimeter. Now come to this side. Also, the distance from the bar to the line will be 20 millimeter, and the length of this line will be 165 millimeter. Now again select rectangle and draw a rectangle in this side. Okay, put smart dimension. The distance will be twenty millimeter and the size will be same. 165 millimeter. Okay. Now go to features and click on extrude boss of base. Now make this one 5 millimeter. Okay. Now click here and click sketch. Now click on space bar and go to normal tool. Now select rectangle. And from here, OK. 
here the rectangle. Now go to smart dimensions and the distance between these two points will be 20 millimeter and we also maintain the same distance with this one so it is also 20 millimeter so check this one is 20 okay now also the size will be same like the previous like them so it is 165 millimeter okay now again select rectangle Okay, the rectangle is done. Okay, now smart dimensions and the distance between them also 20 millimeter and also it is 165 millimeter. Okay, now good features. And click on explore boss or base. It is also 25 millimeter. Okay. Now you can check that our bench is complete. Now we just need to apply the material. So at first we will apply material at these parts, the solid part, metal part actually. Now just select this boss extrude one. And press on control and select the boss x to 2. Now just click here the appearance. So just click here go to appearance and select metal and I will select steel. So I am selecting the polish steel. Just double click here. So this one is selected. Now we will apply material the this part I will apply code here. Now just click on boss x to 3, press on control and also click on boss x to 4. Now click and scroll down and select organic and select put. From here I will select Best types of oaks. I am selecting this one. So double click here. Okay. Now just change the background perspective. Okay. Now our branch is complete. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any question, please ask me in the comment box. And if you like this video, also make a comment in the comment box. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. And share with your friends and press the like button. Thank you.